Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajul Afkaisi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about polynuclear hydrocarbons. So what is polynuclear hydrocarbons? A polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbon is a hydrocarbon made up of fused aromatic ring molecules. These rings share one or more sites and contains delocalized electron. Another way to consider FAS polyaromatic hydrocarbon is molecules made by fusing two or more benzene rings. You know, my friend, polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons molecules contains only carbon and hydrogen atoms. What is the properties of polynuclear hydrocarbons? Polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons are lipophilic, lipophilic, non-polar molecules. They tend to persist in environment because FAS are not very soluble in water and that is challenging for us. While 2 and 3 ring FAS are somehow soluble in aqueous solution. You know the solubility decreases nearly logarithmically as molecular mass increases, 2, 3, and 4 rings, FAS are sufficiently volatile to exist in the gas phase, while larger molecules exist as solid. You know, pure solid FAS may be colorless, white, pale, yellow, or pale green. So, my friends, the important point here I have to discuss the source. You know, FAS are organic molecules that form a variety of natural and environmental pollutant reactions. Naturally, FAS form from forest fires and volcanic eruptions. The compounds are numerous in fossil fuels such as coal and petrol. Man contribute fast by burning wood and by incomplete combustion of fossil fuel. The compounds occur as a natural consequence of cooking food, particularly when food is cooked at a high temperature, grilled or smoked. The chemicals are released in cigarette smoke and form burning waste. So these are the sources from where polynuclear hydrocarbons, especially polyaromatic compounds form. What is the health effect? Polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons are extremely important because they are associated with genetic damage and disease. Also the compound persists in the environment, leading to increased problem over time. FAS are toxic to aquatic life. In addition to toxicity, these compounds are often mutagenic, carcinogenic, and tetragenic. Parental exposure to these chemicals is associated with the lower IQ and childhood asthma. You know, people get exposed to FAS from breathing contaminated air, eating food, that contains the compound and from skin contact. Unless a person works in the industrial setting with these chemicals, you know, exposure tends to be long term and low level, so there are not medical treatment to the address the effects. The best defense against health effect from fast exposure is to be become aware of situation that elevate risk, breathing, smoke, eating, charred meals and touching 
petroleum product. Now these are the introductions and this is the introductions but now chemistry started. You should know the basic chemistry of polynuclear hydrocarbons. So classification, you can see the polynuclear hydrocarbons classified into non-benzenoide and benzenoide. So this is the azulene, this and benzenoide again classified into this is isolated biphenyl. This is few things, linear arrangement and angular arrangement. You can see this is the linear nephthalene and this is phenanthrene. Now, let us discuss about nephthalene. Nephthalene C10H8 is an aromatic hydrocarbon in which two benzyl rings are fused in ortho position. For the purposes of naming its derivative, the position are indicatively indicated by figures. Look at here. This is the position 1, 4, 8. Now, isolation. Isolation from coal tar. Nephthalene is the largest single compound of coal tar, about 6 to 10 percent. The hydrocarbons was first noticed as a deposit in the condenser during the distillation of nephtha reaction, and hence it named nephthalene. It is obtained chiefly by cooling the middle aisle fractions at 100. 60 to 230 degrees Celsius, whereupon nephthalene crystallizes out. The crude crystal are removed by centrifuging. These are melted and then treated successively with concentrated sulfuric acid to remove the phenols. And finally, the nephthalene is sublimed to give the pure product. This is the method of isolation. Now, properties. So, there are two properties, physical and chemical. Physical, nephthalene is a white solid which crystallizes in shining plate, melting point minus 80 degree, boiling point 218 degree, having a strong odor. It is very volatile and sublimes readily on warming. Nephthalene is insoluble in water but dissolves easily in organic solvent particularly in ether and benzene. Now chemical properties. The reaction of nephthalene are essentially the same as those of benzene. It undergoes substitution readily and forms addition for product. However, it is the somehow less aromatic than benzene. Thus the double bond in nephthalene exhibits in part the reactivity of alkenes and it forms additions compound more readily than does benzene. As soon as one of the ring is fully saturated by addition of hydrogen or halogen. Now, resonance. What is the resonating structure? Now I am going to show you some resonating structure. X-ray diffraction study shows that La, unlike benzene, all carbon-carbon bonds in nephthalene are not of the same length. In particular, the carbon-1 and carbon-2 bond is considerably shorter than the carbon-2 and carbon-3 bond. And this difference can be understood if we examine the three resonating form given here. And I will discuss. Notice that the carbon-1 and carbon-2 bond is double in two cups structure A and B and single in one C whereas the carbon 2 and carbon 3 bond is single in two structure A and B and double in one. So we would therefore expect that carbon 1 and carbon 2 bond to have more double bond character short bond length and then C2 C3 bond to have the more single bond character longer bond character. What does it mean? 
Now you can see the resonance energy of naphthalene is about 61 kilocalorie per mole and this value is less than twice the amount of a single benzene ring. As a result, naphthalene is somewhat less aromatic, more reactive than benzene. You can see the A, B and C structure, what we are talking about. And 1, 2 and 1, 2, 2 structure contains double bonds. One structure contains single bond. So, more double bond character. Now, 2, 3, 2 structure contains single bond and one structure contains double bond. That's why you can see the C1, C2, 1.36 and C2, C3, 1.4. More single character and carbon 1 and carbon 2 less Double character. Now, preparation of naphthalene from 3 benzoyl propanic acid. When 3 benzoyl propanic acid is heated with sulfuric acid, alpha naphthol is formed, which on distillation with zinc test form naphthalene. Look at here 3 benzoyl propanic acid. It gives 4 phenyl butanoic acid. And then 4-phenyl 1-butene, when 4-phenyl 1-butene is passed over a red-hot calcium oxide, naphthalene is formed. Now look at here, 4-phenyl 1-butene undergo heating, it gives naphthalene after removing hydrogen. Now most important methods have our synthesis. It involves five steps. First step, formation of 3-benzoyl propanic acid by the treatment of benzene with succinic acid. This is succinic acid, 5 member, and this is the benzene. Now you can see 3 benzoyl propanic acid. Now 3 benzoyl propanic acid is treated with amalgamated zinc to produce 4 phenyl butanoic acid. Now look at here. This is the 4 phenyl butanoic acid from 3 benzoyl propanic acid. Now, 4 phenyl butonic acid is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid to form tetralone ring close reaction. You can see 4 phenyl butonic acid it gives tetralone. Now, tetralone is again heated with amalgamated zinc and HCl to give tetraline. You can see 3, 4 dihydro 2H naphthalene 1, 1 tetralone. It gives 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrahydro naphthalene. Tetraline. Now, in the last step, tetraline is heated with radium to yield naphthalene. So, this tetraline, radium, it gave naphthalene. Now, reaction of naphthalene. You know, naphthalene is more reactive than benzene. It undergoes several reactions like oxidation, reduction, addition, nitration, halogenation, and acylation. Look at here. Naphthalene, in presence of KMnO4 acidic medium, phthalic acid form. Naphthalene undergo reaction with KMnO4 in basic medium, phthalonic acid form. In presence of chromic acid, 1,4 naphthoquinone. In presence of ozone, zinc, water, thylaldehyde formed. And in presence of sulfuric acid and mercurous sulfate, it gives phthalic anhydride. Now, reductions of naphthalene. Look at here the many steps. In presence of H2 nickel, tetraline formed after reduction with the H2 and nickel, decaline formed. Now, reaction with sodium ethanol, 1 for dihydro dienine, dialine formed, and reaction with H2 nickel, decaline. And in presence of sodium, alcohol, it gives tetraline. Now, addition reaction. You know, addition of bromine or chlorine to naphthalene gives naphthalene dibromic, right, or naphthalene dichloride. 
Further addition of bromine or chlorine results in the formation of naphthalene tetrabromide and naphthalene tetrachloride. Look at here, naphthalene, it gives 1,4 dibromonephthalene. 1,4 opposition, you know, reaction with the Br2. And after that, 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrabromonephthalene. You can see naphthalene undergo chlorination reaction, it gives 1 chloronephthalene. Now, electrophilic substitution reaction. Nephthalines like benzene undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. Substitution occurs primarily carbon 1 alpha position. This can be understood if we examine the intermediate carbonium ion. The two or resonance form can be written for the intermediate carbonium ion obtained from the attack at carbon 1 without involving the other name. Whereas only such form is possible for substitution at C2. Elect uh, electrophile is the following sequence represent the electrophiles. Look at here. If electrophile attack 1, then positive charge on 2 and 4. So more stable, one substitution product. If attack at 2, then positive charge at this position that is less stable, two structure products. That's why the former intermediate is more stable and product with this substituents at carbon 1 predominates. Substitution at carbon 2 beta position occurs only when the reaction are carried at higher temperature when the bulkier solvent are used. Now nitrations. Naphthalene nitrates with a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid at low temperature to form mainly at alpha nitro naphthalene. Look at the naphthalenes and alpha nitro naphthalene. Halogenation reactions. You know naphthalene in presence of iron catalyst react with halogens to form alpha substituted naphthalene. Look at here naphthalene react with chlorine it gives alpha chloro naphthalene. There is a mis uh, spelling and some error. So when you write, be careful. We write not a alpha or one color of naphthalene. Sulfonations. You know, sulfonation of naphthalene at low temperature product naphthalene one sulfonic acid. While at higher temperature, 120 degrees Celsius, it produces naphthalene two sulfonic acid. Now, fredel graph alkylation. fredel graph alkylation at low temperature is carried out for naphthalene, which is reacting with the iodomethane to produce 1-methylnephthalene as a major product and 2-methylnephthalene as minor product. So, look at here, naphthalene, it gave 1-methylnephthalene and 2-methylnephthalene. Now, fredel graph acylation. Naphthalene undergo fredel graph reaction with acetyl chloride to form the alpha or beta products depending on the conditions. You can see here in polar solvent it gave methyl 2 naphthyl ketone and in non-polar solvent it gave methyl 1 naphthyl ketone. Now derivatives of naphthalene. You can see naphthol, naphthalene 1, 5 diol and 4 amino 3 hydroxy naphthalene 1 sulfonic acid. Medicinal uses of naphthalene, this is not for your exams, but you should know. Product of naphthols, alpha naphthols, product of dyes, phenyl azo dyes, naphthol red dye, then preparation of beta blocker drugs, uh, propanolol to synthesis dyes, useful insecticide, veterinary medicine, dusting powder, Polyethylene, naphthalene to prepare plastic bottle. Naphthalene sulfonic acid are used to prepare plasticizer, natural rubber. Naphthalene drugs to cure cough, urine infections, eye troubles like that. So, my friends, now phenanthrene. You know, phenanthrene is a postcyclic aromatic hydrocarbon composed of three fused benzene rings. It is a pure form, it is formed in cigarette smoke and it is known as irritant photosensitizing skin to light. Phenanthrene, you know, appears as a white powder having the blue fluorescence. 
and anthelion is the backbone of morphine. So starting, you see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 position. So in another structure, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 position. Now resonating of the phenanthrene. Like anthracene, phenanthrene is a planar molecules. All 14 carbon atom are sp2 hybrid. The sp2 orbital overlap with each other and with s orbital of 10 hydrogen atoms to CC and CS sigma bond. Each carbon atom also possesses a p orbitals and these are perpendicular to the plane containing the bonds. You know the lateral overlap of these p orbital products and pi or molecular orbital containing 10 electrons. Phenanthrene shows aromatic properties because the resulting pi molecular orbital satisfied the Huckel's rule. Now look at here. This is very important for you. You have to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These all three is not in structure. Now, resonance energy 91 kilocalorie per mole. Preparation of phenanthrene. How about phenanthrene synthesis? You have naphthalene, succinic acid, then you will get 4 naphthalene, 1 iron, 4 oxobutanic acid, then you will get 4 naphthalene, 1 iron, butanic acid, then you can see here 3, 4 dihydroxyphenanthrene, 2H1, under reduction with amalgam, zinc amalgam HCl, 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrahydrophenanthrene, and selenium palladium. In presence selenium prime, you will get phenanthrene. Now, addition with the phenanthrene. You know, reductions. Phenanthrene undergo reduction, it gives 9, 10 dihydrophenanthrene. Oxidations, it gives 9, 10 phenanthrene. Phenanthrone. When oxidized with the chromic acid in acidic acid, phenanthrene yield a diketone. Phenanthroquinone. That is the actually name, not phenanthroquinone, which upon further oxidation give diphenic acid. So you can see 19 phenanthroquinone and after oxidation it give diphenic acid. This is very important. Now, bromination's phenanthrene undergo bromination it give phenanthrene 19 dibromide and on heating it give 9 bromo phenanthrene. Electrophilic addition versus Electrophilic substitution. Phenanthrene it gives 9 bromo phenanthrene or 19 dibromo 19 dihydrophenanthrene. Look at here Y plus electrophiles and then substitution product and addition product. The addition products and substitution product. Now you can see in case of anthracene. You have here again Y plus and Z minus. You have substitution product and you have addition product. So reactivity of the 9 and 10 position towards electrophilic attack where radiation lead to the substitution or addition is under understable since the initially formed carbocation is the more stable one in which aromatic state are preserved in two of the three rings. So this carbocation can then either give up a proton to yield the substitution product or accept a nucleophile to yield an addition product. The tendency of for this compound to undergo addition is due to the comparatively small sacrifice in the resonance energy 12 kilocalorie per mole for anthracene and 20 kilocalorie per mole or less for the phenanthrene. So, you can see derivative of phenanthrene, periphenolene, papaverine, polymone, codeine. Medicinal uses, anthraquinone is used in the manufacture of elizarine and several other dyes. You can see the diethrenol, you can see the estirane, sex hormone and bile acid, estuad used as oral conceptive and anti-inflammatory agents and cardiac glycosides, morphine, coating. Now friends, anthracene. 
You know, friend, anthracene is present in coal tar to the extent of 0.3 to 3.5%. Hence, its name Greek anthracene, meaning coal. On distillation of tar, it possesses over in the high boiling fraction anthracene oil. The molecules of anthracene is made up of three benzene nuclei fused in earth position. It is colorless solid, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. So look at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 position. Resonance structure of anthracene. Again, X-ray diffraction study shows that like naphthalene, all carbon bond in anthracene are not of the same length. In particular, carbon 1 and carbon 2 is considerably shorter than the C2 and C3 bond. And this difference in bond length can be understood if we examine the four resonance form given up. Notice that carbon 1, carbon 2 bond is double in three structure A, B, C and the single in only one. Whereas the C2, C3 bond is single in three structure A, B, C and double in only one. We would therefore expect the C1, C2 bond to have more double bond character, shorter bond length and the C2, C3 bond to have more single bond character, longer bond length. The resonance energy of anthracene is 84 kilocalorie per mole and this average to 28 kilocalorie per mole ring which is substantially lower than that of benzene. As a result, anthracene is much less aromatic than benzene and behaves more like an unsaturated aliphatic hydrocarbons. So look at here, you have to write all these four resonating structure. Now preparation of anthracene by Fredelkraft reactions. You can see benzyl chloride in presence of Al3 anthracene form. By Howard, you can see thalic anhydride react with benzene. It gives orthobenzoyl benzoic acid and then in presence of sulfuric acid, 19 anthracanone, and then zinc distillation, it gives anthracene. Elves reactions, alpha ya orthomethyl benzophenone, it gives anthracene. By Delselder reaction, this involves the reactions of 14 anthracanone with 14 betadine. The product is oxidized with chromium trioxide uh, to form 19 anthracanine, which on distillation with the zinc produce anthracene. Look at the reaction scheme. One for naphthaquinone, it gave Delselder for adducts, react with chromic C uh, in presence of acetic acid and C chromium oxide, 910 anthraquinone, and after distillation, you will get the anthracene. Now, properties of anthracene. You know, anthracene is a colorless solid. It melts at 218 degrees Celsius and boils at 340 degrees Celsius. Anthracene is insoluble in water, but dissolved in benzene, it shows a strong blue fluorescence when exposed to ultraviolet light. And this fluorescent properties of anthracene is used in criminal detections work. Since a small amount of finely powdered anthracene on clothing, skin, money, it is not detected under ordinary light, but easily noticed when exposed to the ultraviolet light. So it is very important. Chemical anthracene undergo chemical properties like addition, nucleophilic substitution reaction, and this reaction preferentially occurs at C9 and C10 position. And this can be understood if you examine the intermediate carbonium ion obtained from attack at carbon 1 and carbon 2 and carbon all other positions are equivalent to either 1 or 2 or 9 by symmetry. E and it means electrophile in the following equation represent the electrophile. Look at here. If it is attack 1, then you have this 2. If attack only 1. So if it attack 9, you have the structural element. So, attack 9 yield a carbonium ion intermediate in which two benzene rings are retained. Two benzene rings are retained. That is very important. Whereas, attack carbon 1 and carbon 2 yield an intermediate in which an ethylene system is retained. The former uh, intermediate is more stable and its formation 
favored because the resonance energy of two benzene ring so exceed that of ethylene 61 kilocalorie so the reactions of anthracene electrophilic substitution reactions halogenation 9 haloanthracene sulfonation anthracene 1 sulfonic acid different condition anthracene 2 sulfonic acid nitration 9 nitroanthracene in the presence of nitrogen Anthracene undergo acetylations, 9 acetyl anthracene, 1 acetyl anthracene in polar solvent and non polar solvent, different polar. High temperature, low temperature, anthracene 207 disulfonic acid and anthracene 18 disulfonic acid. Now, del delta reaction. Anthracene undergo del delta reaction at 19 position and forms indo anthracene malic anhydride. Look at the anthracene malic anhydride it entails elder atoms. You know anthracene undergoes oxidation with sodium dichromate and sulfuric acid to form 19 anthraquinone. Now you can see the anthracene react with potassium sodium dichromate in the presence of sulfuric acid 19 anthraquinone. Now reductions of anthracene you can see it reduces in the presence of ethanol and sodium and to form 19 dihydroanthracene. It gives also dimerization reaction anthracene undergo in the UV light and dianthracene is formed. So derivative of anthracene you can see anthraquinone, anthron, ozanthron and anthronol. Now medicinal uses of anthracene, you know the anthracene Glycosides are oxygenated derivatives of pharmacologically important that are used as laxatives or catheretics or antineoplastic agents, polycyclic You can see emodine, anti inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal. You can see the yellow emodine and Christoph van Hall as natural dyes, as protective and nephroprotective antioxidants, diphenylmethane. You know, diphenylmethane is an organic compound with the formula C6H6O2CH2, abbreviated by CH2. The compound consists of methane, where in two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two methanyl group. It is a white solid, diphenylmethane. Preparation of diphenylmethane. You can see the preparations and derivative of diphenylmethane. You can see benzophenone medicinal uses. Every compound have some medicine. Diphenylmethane. You can see this is the diphenylmethane. Their derivatives. So, my friends, these are the references. B. S. Pahal, Advanced Organic Chemistry, and other books. So, if you like this type of video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.